Hello friends, in this session, we are going to learn handling of associations in Selenium. Firstly, we have to know what is meant by association. So let's go. Let me open this Chrome browser and see here. This is a google.com web page and I want to search some text here. Okay, so see here, I want to click X. So see we get the suggestions here okay so see here these suggestions it's called as a two suggestions okay so i want to write some word here selenium so here we get the these are the auto suggestions here okay so we can handle its two way using the mouse and keyboard so using the mouse mean we can this cursor go through the this selenium id and click on it okay so and another way is we press the down arrow key on the keyboard okay like that and when it's come in selenium id and we press the enter okay like that but in your, our automation we how to handle this auto suggestions so let's check firstly we have to check the step so Firstly, we have to identify this text box of the web element and send the input. So, firstly, start our coding. So, see here, I create this auto suggestion package. In that package, I create a class. This sample one, it's a, our class name. Okay. So, you can give here any name here as your requirement. And after that, I launch this Chrome browser. You can launch any browser here. Okay. I launch here Chrome browser. And after that, this browser maximize it. Okay. After we have to open URL. Okay. For that, we use here get matter. In that get matter, we are this URL copy from the web page and paste in our this get matter okay so now first step is what first step is this search box this search box we have to inspect here okay so right click on this web page and click on this arrow here and inspect the search text box okay so this is the input it's a tag name this is the attribute name and attribute value I use this class and this attribute value. Okay. So find out the XPath expression. For that, we use forward double slash input. It's a tag name. After that, in square bracket at the rate, attribute name is class. In single quote, we give the attribute value. And after that, we close the square bracket so it's one of one matching and it's html code is highlighted in yellow color means our expression is correct of that search text box so this expression i copy from here and paste in our find element method as an input so driver dot find element by dot xpath and give here expert expression paste here and what action we have to perform here we have to perform send input okay using the send key method so in double code i want to send selenium it's a key after that we have to create a expected reference variable okay we have to create a expected reference variable so see here expected text okay so see here we use this string and give this reference object name expected text okay expected text equal to give the expected text what we have to do selenium see here this web driver i want to search selenium web driver so give here text selenium web driver 
okay after that we have to check this third step third step is what create a list where we storing all the li i mean element values means we are storing all the search suggestions value so see here these are the two suggestions value we have to store the one reference variable means it's a list of web element okay so these are the auto suggestions we have to store in one statement okay so that's why we are find out firstly expert expression for the find elements method find elements because we have to store number of web element one more than web one web element that's why here find out x path expression in double quote so see so i want to search the web element so firstly we have to inspect here okay so this is the web driver we have to move the using up arrow key go to the parent okay so when it's go to the parent then our auto suggestions all are all auto suggestions are highlighted in blue color means it's a parent html code okay for that auto suggestions so click on this and here this class and this value its value i use here so copy this attribute value and this is ul it's a tag name and class is a attribute name so here is type ul and attribute name it's same and value you here this and see here it's a one of two matching okay one of two matching that's why it's our expression is not correct so we have to find out this expression it's a correct expression means first expression is our correct that's why here use square bracket okay after this square uh, sorry it's a bracket after the bracket we have to give the index okay index one okay this one so it's now one of one matching means its extra expression is correct it's html code it's converted in yellow color so copy this expert expression and we have to find out the this leaf so we have to jump from the parent to immediate child that's why here i use single forward slash and use this leaf okay this leaf like that so because of the using this lee we can get the address of these auto suggestions okay that's why we have to find out the immediate child of the tag name so copy this expression and paste in our this eclipse in find elements method okay so now this statement we have to store in one reference variable we are use here multiple options okay we are store this multiple options and it's written as a list of web element okay now next step is what next step is now we have to get each and every address of the auto suggestion using for each row in single address converted into text and it store as a actual text variable like that so let's see we have to store all the auto suggestion address in for each row using this object okay so using this object i store this and this we use the for each loop for that and see here store this in one object options okay and it's written it's written as a first we have to create a body for the for each loop after this creator it's written as a web element okay because each and every web element 
we get the address of the auto suggestions that's why okay so see here after that we have to we have to create x actual text variable okay actual text variable we can here get text here using the get text here a get text method we can get the text of the actual text okay means this is a auto suggestion actual text that's why here use string this is a actual text equal to options dot get text method okay get text so after that complete the syntax after that this actual text and expected text we can compare here using the if control statement okay using the if control statement we can compare the two variable okay or statement expected text and actual text so here actual text dot equals equals what is equals equals expected text okay so create for the body for the if loop if control statement and here when we get the actual text equal to expected text that time we can click on the selenium web driver if we get the selenium web driver in actual text and expected text that time we are click on the this suggestions okay option dot click click method after that we can break the loop here if we are not break here then this loop goes on continuous okay that that's why we are break this loop so for that firstly we have to some wet add here for the thread dot slip okay for, for this see the how how it's operate like that. so now see here when it's goes to the actual text in selenium download okay it's stored in this get text it's a selenium download it's here actual text is selenium download equals to expected text selenium web driver it's not matching then it's not not go through the if statement okay if that control statement it's go back to the actual statement and see the next statement okay next auto suggestions what is selenium okay it's selenium again check the actual stack actual stacks is selenium and expected test selenium web driver it's not equal then it's not go through the this uh, loop it's go through the this for loop okay see again this actual text get uh, here selenium architecture like that this uh, this loop is goes on through like this when we get the selenium web driver that time our loop is complete because actual text is selenium web driver and equals to expected text is selenium web driver then it's go through the this if statement and click on the this selenium web driver and after that break the loop and our program is complete okay so run this program and see what happened see here now open the chrome browser or launch the chrome browser let's wait now maximize this window maximize this window navigate to url and send the key in search text box okay 
send key as a selenium and wait 45 seconds and click on the web driver okay so like that okay like that our auto suggestion is successfully okay so now i want to change these auto suggestions expected text okay time to change the auto suggestion text i want to search the this selenium id okay selenium id so here i type here selenium id when we get here this is the selenium id e okay when we get actual text selenium id okay we get the text as a selenium id in actual text that time we click on that okay so see now run this program open the chrome browser maximize this window navigate to url and send as an input as a selenium and see here click on selenium id okay click on selenium ID. like that so this our actual text see here this our sorry this is your expected text we can change here then we can get the actual text that time we this selenium click on this website okay so today's session so today's session we are we will see how to handle of auto suggestions okay so thank you for the watching video